Hey guys, well today we're going to talk about setting up your parts in Mach 3 turn. I get this question a lot and I try to explain it in a lot of my turn videos so if you refer back to some of my turn videos you'll see that I do give a little bit of an explanation but today I thought I would kind of cover a little bit more in depth. Now Mach 3 turn can be a little confusing First we want to go to this manual tab and this is where I do my part setups. Okay, in the top left corner you have your XDRO and your ZDRO. Your XDRO zero point should always be your spindle center line. Z zero is normally going to be the end of your part. Or the end of the stock. Now over here there's a lot of information and a lot of buttons and a lot of people get confused by this part 0x and part 0y buttons and these two DROs right here. So let me try to explain some of this. So first of all your set home X and your set home Z buttons will actually reference your machine to the home position. If you have home limit switches installed then this will move the axis to the home position and set your machine zero there. If you do not have home switches it will set your home location wherever your axis happens to be at the time. So you want to make sure you move it to uh, approximately the same position every time. Uh, if you have some kind of hard stop that would be even better. So if we press set home Z and then set home X So as you can see, it sets our DROs to zero because we are now at our zero location in our machine coordinates. Now the home X and the home Z buttons will actually move your axis back to the home position no matter where you are uh, in the coordinates. So if we hit home Z and then home X, you can see it moves us back to our home position. Now after you reference your machine and set your X and Z home position, uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, this Zero World X and Zero World Z buttons, uh, they will basically zero your machine coordinates where they are. So wherever you happen to have your axis at at the moment it's going to set that as the machine zero all right so now I want to set up my part now this particular part here I'm going to be making these adapters and after I part it off I want my zero to move over the thickness of the material that was used so one way to do that is just to reset your zero after every piece or use G55, G56 and use your fixtures. So in order to set those up, you set your zero on the end of your stock. We make sure that we are in G54, which I am. But let me do it again, does it hurt? All right. Now in order to set my zero, which I already have it lined up there, you just simply hit part zero. Or you can type in zero here or hit the zero button. Now if we go to config fixtures and look at our G54, we will see that Z is 14.5742 from home. Okay. You can see I've already set up G55 and G56. 
So now, after I run my first part, I'm going to be moving my zero back 0.3535. So if I type in G55, hit enter, now I'm in G55 work offsets, and you can see I am positive 0.3535. So if I move it, zero, there we go. Now you can see I am 0.3535 back from this front edge. And now this is my zero for G55. I can simply come here and type in G55, rerun my code, and I don't have to reset my zeros. I then, if I want to run another one, I can type in G56, and you can see I'm positive 0.3535 again. I can type in Z0, and now I am 0.7070 from the front edge. And so I can just continue on until I get done with the whole piece of stock, setting up different Z fixtures as I've done here. And you can see each one gets 0.3535 further away from the home sent, uh, switch. Now X stays the same because my zero is always in the center line of my stock. Now in order to set zero for the center of the stock, the simplest way that I've found to do that is simply turn the spindle on and just take a little pass Don't move it in and out, just move it away. Turn the spindle off, take a measurement. Best you can. You might need to do this just a couple of times. Get it just right. I've got 2.747. And then go up to your DRO here and type in 2.747 and hit enter. And then that will set your X zero. Very simple to do. And set up to run parts. And then re... Cut and make another pass and double check it until you get it just right. So that's pretty simple, uh, really, once you know what's going on. But the end of your stock is your Z0, and the center line is your X0. That's a simple and easy way to set up tool offsets, fixtures, and set your zeros in Mach 3 turn. Now for my offsets, if I go to config fixtures, you can see that G59 is all set at zero here. But I actually have my part uh, three inches from the center and then I have Z lined up at the zero spot. So I've typed in 3.005, whereas that's where my X is. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm on G59. I'm currently on G54, but if I go to G59, you can see the DROs change up here. 
and they are going to change to machine position uh, in machine coordinates so my Z is currently minus 14.5742 from home and my X is 5.6529 and that's actually um, half half of that is the actual um, correct dimension because I am in diameter mode here so I want to set my for G59 here I want to set my part my X it says part zero here but really whatever you type in here it's going to put it up in the X DRO when you push this button so I'm going to push the button now and you can see that it typed it just transferred that information to the XDRO and for the zero I'm going to zero my part right here because my Z is uh, my Z is at zero so when I hit this button it's going to put zero in the Z axis DRO but it's going to transfer that number over to the fixtures and I'll show you that in a second so let's hit part zero. You can see up here the ZDR changed to zero. And in our fixtures here, we now have minus 14.5742 in our Z and uh, minus 4.3267 in our X. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you find this information beneficial to you when setting up your CNC lathe and hopefully these work offsets will also help you when you're doing runs of parts and you're going to be using an extra long piece of stock and then trimming it back each time. Um, some things like this particular part that I'm running won't fit in the spindle because I only have a one inch bore so this is the best method I have found to continually run parts without having to reset your Z0 so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions suggestions please feel free to comment stop by and visit the website if you're interested in plans in the G0602 or any of my other CNC conversion plans Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.